All right, just got my Ionix lithium 100 amp hour petroleum motor batteries in. Um, so I'm gonna be installing those in my Tracker 185 jet with a 36 volt Ultrex on the front. Um, built this compartment up here where I'm taking out these lead acid batteries. Um, got my scale in case you guys haven't seen this and I'm sure most of you already have, but let's go with Ionix weighing in at 25.6 pounds and clear that. And um, group 29 never starts weighing in at about 58 pounds. So we're going in there. Um, got the Noco Genius uh, Gen 3 battery charger. As long as your battery charger doesn't put out um, more than 14.7 volts, this one puts out 14.4. And it will either have a manual setting or in this case an automatic setting for gel cell or AGM batteries. You do not have to get a new charger, um, but you can always double check with uh, Ionic and uh, they'll let you know. I just went on the website, read the specs, uh, talked to the guys at the fishing show and they said, yeah, this one works fine. So we're gonna put that in. Um, I, I went with 100 amp hour batteries. A lot of these videos out there show people using the, the 50 amp hour batteries and I was just not convinced that I was gonna use, I was gonna not use that much power in my river. Um, you know, you might see this 36 volt system set up on a full 22, you know, foot uh, full size bass boat with a 250 or 300 on it that weighs three times as much as this tractor, but I fish in fast current all day long. Um, before I could get about three years out of my lead acid batteries, um, and I can pretty much run them all day in that fast current. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how much these uh, Ionics make a difference, see if they actually last longer, like they say they do. And also wanna find out, um, you know, uh, I did with my lead acids, if I was out for more than eight, nine hours, they would run down. Um, and again, you know, I'm fishing in fast current in uh, the rivers around here in New England. So um, just wanna see how they're gonna hold up. Um, looks like we're gonna take out about 100 pounds out of the boat. Don't know if that weight thing really makes a difference in a, in a shallow water jet boat, it might. Um, I'm a big guy myself and I've had another, you know, 250 pound plus passenger in the boat and I can still, you know, run in inches of water with a jet boat. And, um, you know, but uh, getting up on plane, just actually floating, you know, 100 pounds is 100 pounds. So um, 26 pounds versus 58. So it's 32 pounds a piece times three batteries. There's 96 pounds taken out of the middle of that boat. Um, so the weight factor might be in there. Uh, I got a great deal on them. They were on sale, 40% um, off, 35% off, whatever it was. And, um, you know, you just do the research and you're going to find that you're not going to find hardly any complaints with these. If any, I couldn't find anybody who complained about these, these batteries, um, where some of the other brands, their battery management system isn't isn't up to par, um, battery failures. So uh, I think the biggest thing that is not out there is, is when they, a lot of the Ionic videos that are out there basically tell you that, oh, you can get these 50 amp hour batteries and I can go two days on them. Well, maybe you can on your local pond and maybe you don't fish hard on your trolling motor all day, but more and more, you, you know, you talk to a few more pros and they've either gone to the 100s or the 125 amp hour batteries. Um, you can do a 36 volt single battery or three 12 volts. I decided to stay with the three 12 volts because you know, should you have a problem with one of the batteries and you're in the middle of nowhere, whether you're uh, out in the wilderness somewhere fishing or you're at a far away place, if something goes wrong with one of the batteries, you can just get a, a 12 volt battery and pop it right in and in series and um, and and continue fishing. Whereas if you have if you have a problem with that 36 volt battery. Um, you just, uh, you're dead in the water. And again, I've never had a problem with lead acid batteries. Um, where, you know, I've had, had one where, where a cell did burned out and I had to go to Walmart and grab another one. That was an hour away. But, uh, you know, I was in fishing in Northern Maine and I didn't want to, uh, be stuck on the water. So 
um, or stuck without being able to fish for the rest of the week. So I went out and bought another one. So that's just a, a personal preference. You know, the more guys that I talk to it, they say stick with what you know. So, uh, you know, I'm sticking with the 12 volters. These 100 amp hour batteries are, are about the same size. Um, so they're going to fit right in the trays. They do have custom trays you can buy. They're, they're, a, they're you know, aluminum for $75 a piece. I wasn't going to pay that. So I'm going to get this all hooked up. And then, of course, it's um, February here in New England. So it's going to be a little while before I get out on the water. And I'm going to really put these to the test and uh, see how long that they will, uh, they will last in this current.